with Dr. Vanita Zahn. For 66 years, there has been an organization in the Capital Region in Saratoga, formerly the Saratoga County ARC, now known as Saratoga Bridges. And it was created by a group of parents who wanted to make sure there was a place in society for their children to thrive and develop. Children who have emotional, developmental challenges. Pam Polachek is the Assistant Director of Communications for Saratoga Bridges, and she joins us now. Hi, Pam. Thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be with you, Benita, in these strange times. They really are, because by this time in a normal year, you, uh, you, you know, Bridges of Saratoga would have hosted a huge event, the White Party, to raise funds and awareness about exactly. the community you serve. And we're going to talk about how you're going to manage that in a moment. But let's talk about the community you serve, because in essence, these are children of all ages. Well, children, and well, we serve primarily people that have graduated from high school or a, a, an educational setting, so over 22. But we do support uh, people that um, are young all the way to, you know, people that are quite elderly. So, yes, yeah, so we... We certainly support the whole gamut of um, ages. Who usually is, who, is there a typical client that you serve? Um, our individuals uh, have a multiple disabilities. Um, and, you know, as uh, autism continues to escalate, uh, the numbers of people that we support that are on the autism spectrum have significantly increased as well. It's a whole different um, way of um, providing services and supports to them that have been different than people that had um, other disabilities, you know, um, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome. So, you know, our, we're ever evolving to support them. Is there a fee to utilize your services? And no, most, okay. most of them are Medicaid based. Um, we are, we're, I believe it's 94% where our budget is supported by Medicaid dollars and reimbursement rates through the state. So in these times where that's one of the things that the white party, as you indicated, is, you know, raises a significant amount, significant amount of money to support our underfunded and non-funded programs, as well as the budget cuts that continue to be, in, you know, foreboding down the road with. What kind COVID. of services do you provide? Well, we, uh, we have day programs, which were suspended until two weeks ago. Um, that's, and we support about 132 people in our residential program. We have um, many people working in the community through our um, supported work program, Alpha Core Options. Uh, and then our, you know, significant amount of people who still live with their families, with our family support and community um, and engagement. So it's, you know, to make everyone have as better, the best quality of life that they can have is what we end up. Pam, um, what thinking. you offer, what you provide, is this available anywhere else in the community for this there, population? There are um, a number of other providers who provide, um, whether it's the state or some of the other um, providers have residential. We have the larger day programs um, in Clifton Park, uh, Boston Spot and, and Wilton but there are a lot of um, smaller um, individualized programs that are, are operating as well. And how does somebody access your services? They can contact our intake coordinator and then they help them go through the whole process through um, making sure they're eligible for services through the Office with Persons with Developmental Disabilities, OPWDD. Okay, now let's talk dollars and cents. How much money did you make last year from the white party, which I helped I MC, know. Jerry Thanks Gretzinger showed up and lent some support. Exactly. What kind of money? We raised about $150,000, which is pretty significant. And not only did we have to alter our white party, which we are doing virtually next month, we had to cancel the Travers event, which raised about $45,000. Um, we are having, the golf tournaments are continuing. So our golf tournament has moved from July to the end of this month in two weeks. We still have some um, foursomes available there at the Edison Club. And then our 
Great Pumpkin Challenge, which, will, which would have been in its what is the 20th year, is going to be virtual as well. So, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars we're not seeing, unfortunately. And bottom line, if you don't raise at least a considerable sum, if not all of it, then there will be people who can't utilize the services. It's not a matter of that. It's just going to matter of we're doing business differently, just like every other nonprofit. You know, we we talk um, to other nonprofits and they all are experiencing the same thing. It's just evolving in a different way in which to provide. We certainly will continue to do everything we can to support them. But you use the money for services. Correct. But we'll just, you know, it's, it's, and then we're in the process right now advocating to our senators to ensure that we're on the COVID relief funds um, through the federal government. And uh, it's just advocacy to our state um, representatives who are usually very, very supportive to us, as well as our um, federal state, uh, the Congress people and the um, senators to ensure that the funding doesn't get cut any further. So I'm looking at the clock, which is what I have to do as well. And I right. see that I've got to, I'm at the point, I've got to say thanks so much for your time, Pam. But Thank you've you. got golf events still coming up. You will be doing the White Party virtually. I know Correct. I'm going to be helping out with that Thank as well. Your mission you. is so important. You've got the virtual run. So we are going to set up a link. And I'll right. remind folks in just a moment about that as well, where they can go to get all the information, learn more yeah. about you and exactly. figure out how they can lend a hand. Exactly. So it's just saratogabridges.org. Um, and, you know, we've, you know, it's the COVID is impacting everybody as far as, um, as even, you know, cost the unpredicted expenses of that as well. I mean, it's, yeah. that's impacting us. So thankfully, we've had some, a lot of donations of PPE, but the cost of doing business has changed significantly. But we are hoping to continue to work, you know, collectively to build as we say, build bridges for a better future. So that's what we're hoping. So well, thank you. Pam, thanks so very much. I wish you the thank best. You. I hope the events are a great success. And, you know, I'll sign up for the virtual run because thank I'm you. doing that and it's fun. It keeps me moving. So take well, care. Thank you so much for all your support. We really appreciate Channel 13's Pam, ongoing efforts on our behalf. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Pam, it's a community. That's for sure. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. For more info on Saratoga Bridges, check out the link section right here at WNYT.com. We'll see you next time.